It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 291. In today's episode, Uber partners with Cargo to sell munchies to passengers. Uber is helping their drivers add a new stream of revenue. They've partnered with Cargo, a startup that makes it easy for rideshare drivers to sell goods to their passengers. Cargo works by giving drivers boxes of free samples and things to sell, like snacks, gum, phone chargers, and more. The partnership will be launched in Los Angeles and San Francisco for now. Uber drivers can pick up cargo boxes at one of Uber's driver support locations called Greenlight Hubs. Cargo gives the boxes to the drivers for free and has partnered with brands like Kellogg's, Starbucks, and Mars Wrigley Confectionery. Even the free samples earn the drivers a $1 commission plus 25% of the retail price. To qualify for the boxes, drivers must maintain a minimum 4.7 rating and be active on the platform. The driver does not participate in the transaction. If a rider wants to purchase something, they scan a QR code and pay through Cargo's mobile website using PayPal, Apple Pay, Android Pay, or their credit card, and then the driver gives them the purchase. The boxes will reportedly differ in contents based on the city and time of day. In the future, this purchasing feature may be built into the Uber app. Uber estimates that the cargo service could earn Uber drivers an average of an extra $1,200 a year. The top 10% of drivers earn an additional $3,600 a year. Uber plans to eventually expand the partnership to other cities. Cargo. Cargo. So, <laughs> lots to say about this. A uh, few years ago, we actually had a company come to us and kind of pitch us t- to build something like this for taxis. Ah, uh, How about that? Yeah, how about that? Um, Funny enough, I don't remember who actually was these guys. I would have to do some research. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting if it was. Uh, Interesting. It's a little bit of money for Uber and Lyft drivers. Um, I kind of like this, actually. It's kind of nice. I mean, it depends where. Um, I've been to a whole bunch of places, use Uber in places that are not New York or LA or San Francisco, um, like Nashville. And... I would say one third of the Ubers we used, they had snacks. You you could just grab them. Um, one of them we got into, and literally the lady had full on snack like uh, a bag of of things on the back of the for free. For free, you can take gum, you can take a snack. You yeah, can I've whatever. seen gum and water and all that stuff, but I I like this added revenue stream for the drivers. I'm yeah. all about you know helping the drivers out. Yeah, absolutely. So this is going to be interesting. I think it's a great idea. I think when you have something like this, where it's a captive audience, and let's be honest, the reason a lot of people, younger people take the Uber is because of the drinking. And if you have a box of munchies there or some water or maybe some soda or whatever, I I don't, I think it's just snacks, but you get the idea. If you get this captive audience and Mm -hmm. they've got their phone and their debit card, you know what? It's great. I think it's a great thing for the drivers. Now, when you really add it up, they say the drivers don't make that much money. I mean, an extra $1,200 a year doesn't sound like a lot, but a lot of these drivers after expenses and, and, and fees and all that other stuff and tolls and all the other stuff that they have to do, they're not making a lot of money. You know, nobody's getting rich driving, driving Uber. So yeah, any, but twelve $1,200 a year. I mean, that's insurance for them, you know? Sure. Sure. So anything that can go to their bottom line, I'm all for, I like the business model. Uh, I like the thing that, you know, it's, done through the app and uber seems to be behind it if they're going to build it into their app um of course what they'll probably do is either buy cargo or just completely cut them out because that's what apple would do um <laughs> but yeah so cargo good thing uh hold on let me find the website so people can look at it cargo cargo all right the website is drivecargo.com we have full show notes on our website ecommerce minute.co got anything else bart no, that is this, sir. All right, bright and tight, short one today, but we'll see you tomorrow. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.